right welcome back to another video um we're gonna do a little flower today uh it's quite a leafy one so it's a little bit different so i have put two coats of madame glam's uh naked guy on that tip and, and i'm just popping some of the born pretty silver reflective spider gel on there and then that will go in the lamp to cure and i'm just going to give it a wipe off get rid of that tacky layer and i've pulled out some green some yellow and some white um carving gel they're from various places um as normal i normally work on the back of a uh, nail form because it doesn't stick to it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a piece lily today so it's a single flower usually surrounded by lots of green leaves I will put a picture up so you can see so all I've done on this one is it's like a little tiny stamen what goes in the middle of the flower so I'm just going to pop that on the end of my tweezers just to keep it in place. I've pulled out some little green caviar beads. I'm just going to pop some of those in that tray. And then I'm just going to gently dip my little stamen in there. And almost try and embed those caviar beads into that. And then once that is done enough that will go in the lamp to cure I'm not too worried about getting it on uh, all the way around as long as it's on like two thirds of it and then I've pulled out that white piece of uh, carving gel and I've just put some of that backing paper around a brush handle because I need it to be slightly curved so I've pushed it out with the one silicon tool and now I'm just flattening it out as much as I can trying to spread that it's a normal leaf shape but it's curved so I will leave it on that handle and that will go straight into the lamp to cure like that I'm not worried about the mess it makes on this side because you won't see it. And once that's cured, that will just pop off that paper like so. And then what we're going to do is we are going to stick that to the nail with some gem glue. And that'll go back in the lamp. Or oh, I'm also going to use a thin piece of green as well, just as a stalk. Because obviously I'm putting a lot of leaves on it, so we need a stalk today. Not as in a bird. I think I rolled it a little bit too much. I didn't realise how long it was. So I'm just going to chop some off in a second and I'm just going to pull that little bit of a is it a stamen I don't know what's the middle called in a flower I'll have to have a look so with the green bits um all I'm going to do is split it into so many small pieces and I'm just going to roll those out and I'm just going to make some flowers. I'm going to do uh, four smaller, shorter flowers. No, leaves, not flowers. Um, and then I'm going to do two long, I nearly said flowers again then, leaves. <laughs> leaves and flowers, there's just too many. I 
am I doing now? Oh, I'm going to stick the yellow and green bit in the middle. <laughs> I don't know, is it a stamen? I should have looked before I did the voiceover. But we're going to pop that in there anyway with some gem glue. And pop that into lamp to cure. While we're doing that, we're just going to make some leaves like I normally do. Straight down the middle and then uh, push that green piece of carving gel out from both sides. Always keep the tool facing the same way and then bring it back up into a point. I'm actually going to leave these on the paper and we're just going to cure them on the paper and then we're going to stick them on later. Okay, now they're cured, we're just going to slide those off that backing paper and we're just going to sort of assemble the flower now, sorry, the leaves, get it right Jo. Uh, we're going to use gem glue again and I'm just going to use my uh, little Madame Glam lamp um, because a piece lily is multiple leaves on top of one another uh, all the leaves are going to be sort of like at different stages on that stalk so I will put those two big ones where they are now and then the four little ones will be sort of dotted around um, I have taken photos at the end so you can see that they're not all flat down they're actually like in multiple layers you know what I mean at the end when you see it but basically we're just going to pop a little bit of that gem glue in underneath that flower no leaf oh my god what's wrong with me um and I'm just going to use that lamp to cure it in place okay that last leaf i'm just deciding where to put it and i think i'm actually going to put it on the front but I'm just going to sharpen up the end on it so it's got a little bit more of a point. And then that will go on top of the big long leaves right there. Just hold it in place and then um, I've... I have put them in the full lamp for full cure. Um, we're going to put a few of those caviar beads um, just at the base of the flower and a few uh, of those caviar beads going down a little bit, not many, just a few here and there. And then we're also going to uh, the stamen, I'm sure, I really need to have a look what it's called. Uh, but we're going to paint that in gloss, glossy top coat. Now, the leaves are quite flat at the moment, so I thought I would use a little bit of um, watercolour paint just to brighten them up a little bit, give them a bit of colour and definition. So I've got some... Um, green and brown on my palette and we're just sort of like mixing it up a little bit make it that little bit darker um, and then I'm just going to put that across some of the leaves here and there and then that will get left to dry and then I'm going to uh, go over it with some glossy top coat but I'm not going to completely cover it I actually scraped the brush as dry as I could and yeah there we have it obviously I have also gone across the nail with a glossy top coat as well 
I've left the um, the white flower part uh, matte. I'll leave with you some photos. Um, I hope you liked it anyway. It's not really a wearable nail, but it's just a a show one. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.